I'm on that normal. We also discussed NATO's continued commitment to our open door policy. And I want to congratulate both Skopje and Athens. And I commend Prime Minister Tsipras and Prime Minister Saev for the courage and strong leadership in making the name dispute a thing of the past. Now we look to the future. I expect all 29 allies will sign the accession protocol soon. Then Skopje will take part in NATO meetings as an invitee. Once all 29 allies have ratified the protocol, we will be able to welcome the Republic of North Macedonia as NATO's 30th member. Russia has deployed a new type of missile in violation of the treaty. This missile, the SSC-8, is nuclear capable, hard to detect and able to reach European cities. At the NATO foreign ministerial meeting in December, the United States, with the strong support of all NATO allies, announced they would give Russia 60 days to return to compliance with the INF treaty. That period will end in two days. And, and unfortunately, we have seen no signs of a breakthrough. So we must prepare for a world without the INF uh, Treaty. And NATO's military authorities have started looking into the consequences. NATO must maintain credible and effective deterrence and defense. At the same time, allies are firmly committed to arms control and we must look at new uh, initiatives, because a new arms race would be in no one's interest. NATO allies, including Canada and the United States, uh, have uh, been clear that China should immediately uh, release the two Canadians detained uh, in uh, December. And I call on uh, Beijing uh, to address uh, uh, Canada's serious uh, concerns. Uh, we have to remember that uh, NATO is uh, founded on some core values, democracy, uh, individual liberty, and the rule of uh, law. And that's also the reason why we follow this case with such uh, great uh, concern. And uh, NATO expects uh, that its citizens uh, uh, are treated um, fairly and with respect for due uh, process. So this is something which has been expressed by many allies and, uh, and uh, uh, we, we, uh, we are concerned because uh, we see that uh, uh, two uh, Canadians were detained in December and uh, uh, we expect them to be uh, treated uh, fairly uh, with respect for a due uh, process. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.